up people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the vlog of Daring Whips. Today's the day we're going to be showing you guys how to do an oil change on an Alfa Romeo. You know the Alfa, one and only ramen. And that's where we got the Alfa. So we got a little bit of a problem already before we even start. So the Alfa is parked on the road. I'm not going to try to get on the road and like do the oil change the old school way, you know. I'm trying to park the car in here in the garage. But I got to move this. Got to move this. I got to move that 30. Got to move the stang in order to get the Alfa in here and do the oil change. So I'm going to just let you guys enjoy me moving all the cars. guys just like that we got all the cars out and got the alpha in so the first thing you guys gonna need is your engine oil and the oil filter the second thing you're gonna need is the tools to work with the car and uh, get the oil out and the third thing is basically to drain the oil somewhere that's about it and uh, yeah let's check up the car first and then I'll show you what's up next so next step after checking up the car is to get this cover off in order to get this cover off there's the these screws right here, there's like, how many, like 25, right? Yeah, about 25. Yeah, there's like 25 screws right here that you're going to have to open up. And then you can literally see the engine bay or the engine from the bottom. And then you just open up the screw from the bottom and drain all the oil out. And yeah, that's about it. And that's how you do the oil change. But we're just going to still show you everything. But yeah, uh, jack up the car and open this cover up. Got the car all jacked up and uh, we are actually ready to open up the, the cover on the bottom. So in order to open up the cover you're going to need a 25 uh, T25 uh, socket and a socket wrench obviously. And then you're going to need a filter for your car. I'm going to show you where the filter goes. It goes under the car. But before I started working on the car I wanted to show you guys what filter we're using. We're using this Moper. Uh, oil filter no idea why he's using this this is his first, uh, this is first time doing the oil change on his car himself yeah. Yeah. so we're gonna teach him and you guys so yep yeah, this filter we're using like I said I have no idea why we're using this filter but we're gonna put the link in the description if you're gonna buy the same things you can your car is gonna take if you get a four cylinder your car is gonna take five and five and a half quarts so we already got extra but uh, yeah that's uh, the we're using 0w30 and uh, we're using mobile mobile one and uh, this is all you're gonna basically need to open up the engine, uh, the drain plug. Uh, I'm gonna show you which socket you guys need because we haven't gone to that. And once we get there, I'm gonna tell you which one is it, and then drain the oil, and then put the new engine oil and filter in. 
and yep let's get to it now he's gonna open up everything and uh, i'm gonna just walk him through because last time i helped him out but uh, he didn't really know, do anything so this time i might help, uh, have him do everything on it so yeah let's do it and let's get the cover off first We got all the screws out. This is how many we were gonna have to get out. We actually lost like two, three of them last time we did it. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. There's like twenty of them, yeah. Like I said, so there's twenty screws. Actually, uh, he didn't know. He didn't realize that it was actually gonna take T30. But uh, T25 still did the work because we didn't really tighten last time. So if we're gonna really work on your car, make sure you do the T30. And yep, now he's gonna get the car wrapped. I'm just trying to explain to you guys as much as I can so you don't make the same mistakes that we did. Now fuck up your car. I have to pay the expensive prices to the prices to the dealership and get the car fixed afterwards. So yeah. The cover is actually pretty simple. You just get it out of the sides and push it in and twist it a little bit. It comes out because it's just plastic. Just make sure you have uh, something to cover your eyes so nothing goes inside your eyes and harm yourself. One screw, buddy. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I guess they're holding this shit up. <laughs> alright guys so we got the cover out I guess this car has been leaking a little bit that's why it's like all dirty dirty and stuff alright see this is how you're gonna this is how your cover is gonna look and yeah there's like shit ton of screws they'll go on here like like way too many of them and yeah now let me just show you guys where the drain plug is and where the filter is alright guys so once you're under the car this is basically how your car is gonna look and this right here is your drain plug and that's your uh, filter right here so you basically open up the filter and open up the drain plug and then drop the whole oil out so first make sure you have a, bu a bucket or something to hold on your uh, filter because uh, you're gonna have to open up the filter in order to get the drain plug maybe that's the case here I'm not sure yet we're gonna find out and let you know but yeah uh, filter here drain plug here then that's basically how you do the oil change so he's trying to open up the filter with his hand uh, I got these two at my house, the smallest one and the biggest one. So the bigger one is actually pretty big, it won't go on the filter, it's too loose. The smaller one is too small, it won't go on the filter because it's too small. So we're going to try using the wrench or the wrench or whatever that shit is. And uh, he's going to probably try it with his hands. It's basically impossible to open it with your hands because it's pretty tight. Even if you don't tighten it too much, it's still it's going to tighten up itself. The heat, yeah. This guy said he could do it, but he's trying. So yeah, then... Uh, Either we're gonna use that, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna go to AutoZone, grab the one that's gonna fit on his filter, and then open up the filter. And uh, yep, let's do that and then get it over with. My neighbors already hate me, so let's do it again. This thing is loud as fuck. All right, guys, we are at the AutoZone. We bought the right size. So this is the size you're gonna need for your car. In order to do your oil change, I guess you're gonna have to buy this. This was like nine dollars. And yep, let's go home and get the oil change done. All right, guys. So since, like I said, he's gonna be the one who's gonna be doing the oil change. So I'm explaining you guys a trick too. 
and uh, so he could know too. And the filter's in like this, right? So you put this on the filter and you pull it. So once you like put it on the filter and you pull it towards you, see it get tight. So you just twist like this. It gets a grip and you just turn it. Right? Okay. If it doesn't work this way, it just goes this way. Yeah. Whichever way it was, bro, you put so it you on. Pull it towards and you. And yeah. you pull it, yeah. And you pull this way. See? It gets tight and then you just turn the filter. It's gonna really like need like a little twist, literally. It just won't happen with the hand, it's just gonna happen with this thing. We got the filter loose and then uh, yeah the filter was actually in the way in order to get the the drain uh, drain plug out and uh, the drain plug socket number is 13 uh, and there we're actually using the cream bucket like we always do in my old videos he's gonna make my garage look like shit after this I should probably charge him for that Yeah, we made a little bit of mess right there, but that's fine. I'm not a, I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, uh, we're using two whipped cream buckets as always in my videos. Uh, I don't recommend it. You should probably go get the, the main what is it called? The red tubs, like the oh, yeah, whatever that shit is. Tubs. Yeah, you should probably get get the professional tubs or the main draining, oil draining tub thingy. Yeah, uh, I don't recommend using whipped cream buckets, but yeah. Or you're gonna make a mess like me. All right, so the oil's out, and uh, so before you open up the filter or the the drain plug, make sure you caps off. I forgot to tell you guys that. And uh, after your uh, oil's all drained out, you put the drain plug back on and put a new filter in. That's right there. That's my new filter. That's gonna go on there, and just tighten the filter the way you did it on the way out to, to open it up. Just do the same thing backwards. And basically what you do is put the new oil in, tighten everything, check everything is good, start up the car and put your cover back on and then you're good to go. I'm going to time lapse everything, I'm going to explain everything, you work, basically work your way back to what, what you did. But yeah, uh, that's how you do a oil change on a uh, for Romeo Giulio, what is it, 2015? 17. 10, 17. I don't think they make them in 2015. Okay guys, so once you got the drain plug uh, all uh, tightened up and the filters on, make sure you put the drain plug first before you put in the fil uh Filter in because it's, they're, yeah, you're not gonna have space to open up the filter unless you want to use the keys if you got the 30 number. All right, so yeah, let's uh, put this thing in because this come. Make sure you have this comes in handy once you gotta put the oil filter in and here goes in here and then grab your bottle and start pouring in. It's gonna take as I told you guys before. It's gonna take five, five and a half quarts. Man himself is gonna do the job. I'm just recording. That's all I'm doing. Never mind. I actually helped. <laughs> he did help. <laughs> Well, 
we actually did put like five and a half in it. This was like half from the last last time. That's why we put the whole thing in it. But yeah, so now what we're gonna do is put the cap back on and uh, drop the car down and start up the car and see how it does. So in case you guys didn't know, this car is tuned by Project A. That's why we got the sticker right there. And uh, this car is gonna shoot flames. We haven't actually seen it shooting flames, so that's why we did the oil change. For next time, we're gonna for next video, we're gonna take this car out somewhere safe in Mexico and see if the car shoots flames with the project get tuned. He said it's supposed to does, but we just haven't gotten time to do it. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something from today's video. Peace out. I learned a lot. Yo, stop showing your ass and peace out. Peace out. <laughs> This shit is gonna be loud, so in case you're in using headphones, I'm, I'm just recording the cold start basically.